Welcome everyone. This video will highlight the integration between Sitefinity, our content management system, and App Builder, our mobile app development tool. I will be showing you how you, in few clicks, you'll be able to create your first mobile app from within Sitefinity Admin. Under Administration, Tools, Mobile App Builder, from here you'll be able to create your first mobile app. We'll give this app a name such as Quantum App. This app will be based on a module. The available ones are offices or stores in this case. Let's choose offices. And then as you can see, we've got two different, type, uh, two different types of applications. The first one is a read-only that we can give our end user access to. The second one is a CRUD where we can create, read, update, and delete the content. We can give admin people access to this one. Let's go and choose the second option. Uh, we can choose an app icon for our application. For now, I'm going to skip this one and click on continue. Here we've got three options. The first one is to publish our app to the Sitefinity box. The second one is to modify the app in App Builder. And the third one is to download a compressed version of this app. For, uh, for now, I'm going to go with the second option and modify the app in App Builder. As you can see, it's asking for my Telerik credentials. I'm going to enter them. After entering my credentials, I'll click on Send to App Builder. That means that in the background, it's going to create an App Builder project under my account. App Builder comes in different IDE choices. We've got the in-browser client, the Windows client, Visual Studio extension, Sublime Text package, as well as a command line interface. For this demo, I already downloaded and installed the Windows client one. As you can see now, the app is successfully uploaded to App Builder. So I'm going to go and open my Windows client version of App Builder and enter the same credentials. After I sign in with my Telerik account, as you can see, that's my App Builder uh, environment where I've got access to all of my projects under all of my workspace. For now, I'm going to go and filter the workspace to the My Workspace only, where I can find my Quantum app. This has been created, so by double-clicking on this application, I'll be able to open the mobile app. As you can see, the solution at my right-hand side, it's all based on HTML5, JavaScript, and CSS3 code. Let's go and run this application in the simulator, run in simulator. Now that the simulator is up and running, as you can see, it's based on the Offices module. I'm going to have to enter my Sitefinity uh, username and password. I'm clicking on Login, and this will give me access to the Offices module. As you can see, Quantum App is the application, Office is the module. By clicking on this one, it will show me and display all of the available uh, offices. As well, as you can see, I've got the option to uh, add a new office by clicking on the big plus at the top right hand side. I can open any of these ones. I've got the option to edit it as well as to delete. So as you can see, Sitefinity and App Builder are giving us this dynamic mobile application. Uh, it's dynamic because at any time, if the Sitefinity admin will go to the back end and create or edit or remove any field under this module, without having to make any code change to this mobile application, this change uh, that he made at the back end will get reflected automatically into my mobile application. So in the back end, this is using WCF services to get the modules as well as the content. This application, you'll be able to go and publish it straight to the Google uh, Play or to the App Store or to the Windows Phone, as well as you've got the option to go and publish it to a private uh, App Store using Telerik App Manager. So as you can see in this short video, in a few clicks, we were able to create our first mobile app. You can add some styling using CSS3 or any of these things, so you can have your own logo or make some UI changes to this application to make it look um, the way that you want. Thank you for watching.